Okay, everyone, Shannon here. Now, today we'll be facing off the. Let's see. Uh, here we go. Green Nagarkuga. Now it's in the forest, so I don't need anything, and I guess we're ready. This time I'll be fighting him with a great. with um, a switch axe. I faced him with a long sword, then with dual swords, and I pretty much promise this will be. The last Nagakuga that will be, I think this will be the, the very last, unless there's one in the very high end quests. Because, like I said, I already have the next episodes planned out. I have what missions I'm gonna do in order to show most of them. So, first off, I forgot my Psycho Serum. So, I'll probably just be around forest areas. So, I'm gonna check up, up there. I'm quite excited. We will be fighting off for the first time an Argus subspecies. I think we'll probably have the same weakness, but just in case I brought a non elemented weapon. It's a bone hacker. What? Oh, my wheels aren't fully upgraded. Eh. They should have been. I do have what's necessary to upgrade them. Just I never noticed. Uh, unless it's pretty this time we don't have a devil jaw nearby. There are one of those guys in the vicinity because there was a lot of trouble. Oh, guess we don't. Instead we have this little guy here. I think I'm gonna fight him. Come on. Ah, oh, damn it. Okay, just check the list, and I am going to fight a froggy in the last episode in this difficulty level. I'll still be very far away, so I'm still, I'm still gonna fight this one just because I don't want him interrupting me. Plus, it's annoying if I'm fighting an Argon, a guy just comes along poisoning me. So yeah, it's because he's annoying, it's because he's ugly, it's because he poisons me. Yep. Hack and slash, hack and slash, my friend. Slash him and hack him. And slash him and hack him. Ah, well, don't you just love when you manage to get his... Why did I just do that? Don't get poisoned, don't get poisoned. Yes. Whoa, this guy's, this guy's weak. I think he, yeah, he dropped something. We have tears. I don't really need the Yokmo points anymore, so... I guess I'll just gather them up and then buy something really expensive and useless with them. He didn't manage to make me, may, make me use free health potions just because of that poison. Now, wakey wakey time! Ah, there goes the head. Ah, 
Okay, we're done. For the first part. We still have to find an Orga and kill him. More toxic sex. Okay, now let's go find that green naga. Oh, guess he's gonna find me first. I think he went through here. Yeah, found you. <laughs> He's the tip of his tail is red. Looks strong. And pretty. What? How did I get hit by that? Ah, uh, jump soon. I wasn't really expecting that. I mean, this guy's huge. Huge, huge, huge. What? What? How did I get stunned just by that? You're gonna tell me this guy uses stuns. And that's not normal. He only jumps once when he does that, not twice. Okay, I guess this guy's different. What? What? Oh my god, he got he so got me there. I can't believe that. What's more than in one tail flip? Two tail flips. Ah. And he jumps, then jumps. Okay, I get it. Get it. He jumps twice in everything he does. He does everything twice. And it seems he can stun me pretty easily. One jump, two jumps. Okay, yeah, exactly. I, I think it would be wise to call him Narga 2.0. And he jumps twice when he's in rage too. Ah. Okay, so when it comes to jumping, he always jumps twice. And same thing with tail crushings. One. Or he just jumps twice and relax. Tail flips are only tail whips are only one at a time. Seems. One tail. What? He just did it once. Okay, so he can use the tail just once. Great. Yeah. One. Okay, so a little bit further than I thought it would be. Okay, this guy, this guy seems like he's gonna be fun. He can be even more unpredictable than a normal a normal Naga. Why am I even the last fun bar? There's always welcome, and let's sharpen this again. Feline take up, knockout, resistance, and grooming. We aren't really taking advantage of the knockout since I don't have a knockout weapon. Yet, resistance is very useful. It 
basically means that I'm vulnerable while I'm lying down. So this guy won't just get any, any cheap shots at me while I'm down. Now let's just see. Jump. Aim for the head. Okay, there goes his eye. I think, yeah, it's the wrong eye. He's. I just took out his right eye, and it's usually his left. Two jumps. One roar. Yeah, I no longer have to worry about those things. If he jumps twice, they become extremely predictable. Yeah, let's get hit by them. Yes, he can jump once. Yeah, but if if he puts one, eh, forgot about that. In the middle, it becomes a lot easier. No, 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 no. Oh, yeah. Double bait. And with this, I learned that he also changes his evade, his tail whips. When he slams it, the second one isn't in the same position as the first, but somewhere else. Makes sense. Ah, you still got me there. So far, I was gonna get hit back there. Hack and slash, hack and slash, and jump away. Uh, I so missed that whole combo. Heck and slash, heck and slash, heck and slash. Then jump. Lock and load, baby. I'm having so much fun against this guy. Oh, he's tired. So bad. Where are you going, baby? See, I'm down to nothing but mega potions. I'm doing pretty well so far. Oops. Come on, I haven't even broken your wings. No, no need to be sliding around already. I think the only thing I don't really enjoy much about Nargus is the fact that their wings are really hard to break. In most of them, for example, let's say you're fighting a Rayfuls. If you're fighting a Rayfuls and you get a great sword fully charged, you can pretty much one-shot their wings. I remember I used to do that a lot with the Silver Rayfuls. 
he landed and I was I would aim one set uh, at each wing. Okay, I don't think I'm in the right direction. Um, I would aim once at each ring, breaking them, then I, it would take two or three at the tail and three or four at the head. The wings were really easy to break, and they still are very easy to break in ripples and rapings. Norgus, however, is the exact opposite. If you aim at the wings, not only are they hard to hit, since his face is always the one looking at you, but they are also very hard, unless you have blue sharpness. So that makes them quite hard to break. Are you kidding me? How did I miss? Oh my god. I'll just try attacking slash this. They were so useless. Oh crap. Uh, I regret doing that combo. I should have just used the the normal sword modes. Nope. What? Well, he almost got me there. I was thinking he was gonna go where I was, and he ended up swinging just slightly to the side. Okay, so that means another thing. He doesn't. He changes where you are, but only to a certain degree. Another one of those whip fells. My current aims are at his tail and his right wing. Of course, if I get some free shots at his left wing or his head, I'm, I'm going to take them. That move is still too predictable. Still too predictable. I, I just love evade skill so much. Okay, I'll load it. I'm ready for you. Left. What? What? He really did stretch a bit. Wait, I mean, a bit, not just a bit, just way too much. That means. Okay, I need to heal. No, no, no. No. Ah. Okay, I'll just look at his shadow. If that guy had interrupted me, would be so mad. Ah. I didn't get to paintballing. Okay, now I got it. Ragey, ragey. Okay, that's two tails.
I don't really want to hit you in the head way too much. Otherwise he's gonna die. Because they're really weak to the head. Let me see if I can... Let me see if I can manage to cut off the tail. Did I evade that? I can, I can see whether I, I jumped over it or it just fell. Me. Oh, I break already. Fast, fast. Now that was just his miss. And there was my miss. Tail. Nah, not even a single hit there. Hmm. I'm gonna be sad if I don't catch his tail. Let me guess that way. What? Okay. Let's have it your way. Come on, be quiet. Again, ah. so gonna keep. come on, don't be annoying. Just give me a piece of your tail. I promise I take only the tip. I want it because it's red. I think it could be that a green Naga has a worse aim. And I finally managed to break one of his wings. Well, let's see if I can get it. Well, I did hit that in the face, so I'm completely worthless. How did that fail? Oh! Almost. Yeah, I got his right arm, which I was aiming for. And I got his tail! Happy! Now let's see, is that this arm? No, I don't want your tail anymore. Now that I think of it, he's, he seems softer than the normal one. If you hit Norga, a normal Norga Kugi in the, the arms, you get bounced back. If, if your blue, sh blue sharpness, if your green sharpness or less, you get knocked, knocked back. But this guy doesn't. So I, could get, I guess that one of his, arm, his arms are softer. Ouch! That'd be one of these changes. Oh, come on now. I don't want to think when I'm this close to the end. Why does it seem that every single episode I'm getting interrupted? It's really becoming a bad habit. My parents, that is. Okay, that's okay. Ah, turns out I do get not bug not bounced back. Probably wasn't aiming directly at the blade. 
it there there is a, a difference between it, the arm or the leg. And we're done. Let me just send one more guy. Okay, guess that's it for this Narga. Now, where did I fight last episode? I think it was a Kropko. No, it was a Haproboka. Yeah, now I remember. I just anyway, I'm just gonna go ahead and show you this guy's size. You seem mighty high. And I didn't use most of my stuff. Ah, I forgot to use, to get the shinies. I'm all out of, all out of Sonic bombs, so I'm just gonna use small barrel bombs instead. Okay, took ten potions. No, make that nine potions and four mega potions. Take this guy down. So yes, he wasn't that strong compared to Naga. He's he's actually quite fun. <laughs> Now let's see materials, stuff, 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 and nothing really worthwhile. Okay, new maximum. I guess it had to be a maximum since I haven't fought any of them. Okay, everyone, that's it for this episode. See ya.